Heading to breakfast first and foremost because we're pretty hungry and then we are going to do something that we've never done in New Orleans before which is ride a streetcar and go check out the art museum. We're gonna go meet my sister and my mom downstairs. We're gonna go with them. We're gonna spend the day with them. We're gonna vlog this a little bit and then we're gonna go over to this wedding thing. We have like rehearsal a rehearsal dinner, dinner yeah. so I'm gonna have to get dressed up and all that stuff. You guys are not gonna be involved in that us. stuff <laughs> because afterwards it's probably just gonna be a mess i don't want to pick up my camera you guys already had to deal with a drunk vlog already pretty much so yeah last night i was pretty um excuse my face at the close out of last night's video because i was pretty wrecked <laughs> yeah but it, we weren't we weren't that like far oblivious, gone it yeah. wasn't like it wasn't like it wasn't like some people get off of those drinks that we had i still have a half a hurricane over there so i didn't oh. even finish i probably had like two two and a half drinks in total last night but yes i was pretty pretty messed up i haven't drank like that and and probably since the last time actually since my sister's wedding like but my sister's wedding was way worse Let, let's just not even talk, talk about, about that. that we kind of got up today early we had to dry her sneakers with a hair dryer which melted so that can was a whole guys, other wait, thing no can we show because yeah check it out so we i needed to i wanted to wash my black vans before we left and we forgot them in the washing machine when we left our house yesterday so rob's like okay we'll bring them down there we'll dry them needless to say they were still like completely saturated when we got here so we um took my blow dryer and we had them in the shoe and we left it there and look what happened do you see that it completely freaking melted the hair dryer. I'm gonna do the ham and cheese omelet. <laughs> with, a, with a biscuit. I'm gonna do the ham and cheese omelet. Nice. Yeah, with a biscuit. I'm gonna try the maize omelet. Yeah, I was looking at that. You look good. Yeah, they look good. They look questionable. They look questionable? Yeah. A little questionable. A sausage. I don't know. It's pretty good. No, nah, I think it's cool. And I'm not getting sausage. any meat. I'm just getting pancakes. I can't even and eat meat right now. I literally will vomit all over the goddamn floor. <laughs> so we came to mothers because our cousin Ryan and Vicky, well, actually, they're and them. I like to have a lot of beverages when I'm hungover. They wanted, um, apparently, their cab driver yesterday had suggested to come to mothers, and it's very good. We've never eaten here before, so we'll check it out. And then tomorrow. We're definitely doing red gravy. I have to have that while we're down here. It's $27. It's $27? It was $20.70. $20 oh, yeah, $20. How much was that one? $26. Yeah, that's kind of expensive. So, based on recommendation, like I was telling you before, we ended up coming here because we want to try new things all the time. So, we will do red gravy tomorrow. We recommend you go in there. We probably won't vlog it. We probably won't vlog tomorrow at all because... We have to be up early and at a wedding and all that stuff and I'm not I'm not vlogging during the wedding stuff So that's what's going on, but we're at mother's right now So I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as we're done <laughs> Is it that good? Yeah, man. Yeah. It was okay. All right. What'd you say? It was okay I mean, I just had a ham and cheese omelet, so it's basic stuff, but I never had a bad it's a little breakfast. expensive for, for breakfast, but it was fine. Like, How about you? Pancakes are pretty good. I'm really full off them right now, but I gotta say red gravy is much better, so if you had the choice between Mother's and red gravy, well, we, choose red gravy. But we have to try it now, to see yeah, we, gotta, we haven't been there in like five years. So. We do have to go back there and check it out, so we will report if there are any changes. <laughs> Tonight, 
before. So we just arrived at the New Orleans Museum of Art. So this is the main museum part and then there's like all these grounds around it with these little lakes and there's a sculpture garden and some other things to check out. So we're gonna go see what's it, what it's about. No video inside of here? So there's no video inside of here. All right. It's $15 to get out. But the sculpture garden is free. All right. Do you wanna go do the sculpture garden first and then can we or, video the sculpture garden? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I, yeah oh, there's a bee. There's All right. A bee. So it's okay. let's go do the sculpture garden since we could film it. Sculpture garden. The sun feels good. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. There's like a ton of like cool like spots like things. sculpture it is pretty cool I'd like to see what it looks like all the way at the top like all the little men uh -huh. one big guy standing at the bottom and a bunch of miniature guys getting littler and littler and littler as it gets to the top and it's supposed to go on forever but look at wow that's really cool look at that A little like description. Yeah, what, is, what does he mean by this? American, born in Brazil, 1951. Well, I mean, all art is up to interpretation. interpretation. So, what do you that, interpret this well, as? I'd like to know. I thought that was what a bell. Artist thought. Yeah. But a lot of the times, the artist doesn't want you to know what he thought. He wants to know what you're thinking. Wow, this is a nice one too. He has Chris. Like a back art of the tree with a sculpture behind it. Yeah. He is definitely misproportion. Yes. Heroic man. It's like huge hands. Look at his arm. Alright, I think we're sidestepping the grill in the room. The <laughs> eggplant? Yeah. That one of those. Emoji eggplant. It's a horse, which is made up of what looks like driftwood. Tree branches, driftwood. It's bronze though. So it's like driftwood, bronze driftwood. At first this looked like a giant spider, but right in the middle here it kind of looks like larvae. Could you imagine this thing chasing after you? It would be crazy, but it looks like like larvae in the middle. Yeah. Like, it would be better if there was a spider head on it. Uh, it's definitely... I hate this thing, it actually terrifies me. It's yeah. my favorite one. going to have like a nightmare about it tonight. You know what this looks reminds me of when, the, when they get the flies and they wrap it up in the web? Yeah. Look, like they do lights. I know, this place they is probably awesome it. at night. Yeah, this place probably is awesome at night. We had a 
So does that guy do the all of them? Well, the one in New York City? This is design. Yeah, I don't know who would have actually made that one. We had a picture of you guys climbing on it one time. Yeah, it's in New York City, and yeah. then there's one in Philadelphia at Love Park. Yeah, they should have hang hung like long ones, like with smaller. Yeah. I mean, I think they got the effect going on. Everybody knew what they're doing here. It looks cool. It looks yeah. cool with the Spanish moss. It's like I hidden. It. It's very hidden inside of there. You gotta, gotta look up. Thinking there, bear. Okay. What is this? Well, it's monkeys with hands. Like it's evolution. You know, like the monkeys turning here. Yeah. In the back, they got um, human faces. Cool. I think there's a lot of this one right here. There's more. And then there was the art museum. The you gotta do the, the cemeteries you have to do, and then you have to do the plantation tour. Oak Alley Plantation. Yeah. That's really nice, but the cemeteries are super cool looking. This is weird. This is just like a bunch of stuff put yeah, together. Yeah, elements. This? Yeah, well, there you go. I just Different had a elements. bunch of stuff put together. Yeah. It's like a tree, man. It's called Adam. Could you imagine that and the spider running at you? Dude, <laughs> I would just have a heart attack and die right there. <laughs> I'd like go into the, like, my body me. would like convulse and like go into shock and I would just collapse. I'd be like, take me. I'd probably pass out <laughs> before he even gets to me. Think we were getting yelled at? Yeah, I actually did. But I was looking around for cameras. And I was like, oh, there's some. Never mind. These look like they would go on, on like a building, kind of like gargoyles. Look at the, look at the buck teeth. Looks like they should have snakes on the head. She should have snakes on her head. Yeah, that's what he said. Allowing it to function as an architectural decoration. Yeah. You're on. You are spot on today, Rob. I gotta tell what you. What do you mean? I know this stuff. <laughs> I love these chairs. They're like 50s space chairs. It looks like something out of the Twilight Zone, maybe. It is Art Deco. I do like Art Deco. It's like, it's like 1950s Miami. It looks like the T-1000 from Terminator 2. 
It looks like a T-1000 is going to, like, it morphed into a chair and it's going to swallow you. This is a really cool piece right here. I wanted to focus in on this because of the, where everything comes from. Very cool. When I first looked at it, I was thinking to myself, it reminded me of Glass Beach, like a glass bottle beach yeah. in Brooklyn and all the garbage that we found on the shores because it pretty much looked like this. Like it's like a gold log cabin. It is really cool. Can you go in it? We'll wait till they clear up. It's just like a gold cabin. It's made out of plastic, but there's chains on the floor. Wow. Those are attachments for compressor hoses. So this is actually one of the coolest areas inside of here. Also very cool because I get to speak to you guys on camera. This is really cool. There's pills painted gold, all kinds of different peel, uh, pills. It looks like vitamins and different like capsules and stuff like that that are painted. These are like gas caps. It's like, you know, caps that you put on your gas cover. And those are air hoses. Like you plug the air hose into a compressor and that's what you put on the end of it. Bullets, all kinds of stuff. This is really cool. It's like metal. You could take a piece of it home. Melted metal. Alright guys, so that was pretty cool. We were actually able to record and film inside of there. So yeah. you guys got to see as much as we got to see basically or all the cool stuff. I really like those marbles that changed. Yeah. There are yeah. a, lot, a lot of cool things inside of that art museum. I definitely recommend you coming here. I do like going to art museums. You know, when we go to these abandoned places, sometimes we find really cool artifacts and old pieces of art and yeah. things that we ordinarily wouldn't see. And a museum is a place that you can, you know, you can see it without having to trespass, I or guess no, you could or say. Or having to really or, rush. Yeah, or having to rush or anything like that. Like you can kind of take your time and look at everything from the past, all the art. The artwork inside of there was really cool. Some of it is very clever. Yeah. Like I'm really wondering how they put those marbles together. If anybody knows about that, let me know in the description it, because there's like a matte black 
It painted, they painted the backside. Yeah, like little corner, but it had different colors inside well, of it. It was weird. Depending on which angle you looked at it, like from the left side, it showed like more like clear balls than, than colorful. So when you stood in the front, it was all colorful, like rainbow. And then when you stood to the right, it was like dark yeah. balls. Like, I don't know. It was crazy. It, it was, was cool. really, really cool. I really liked that exhibit right there. I, I, I liked the sculptures and everything. I didn't know what to expect coming here, but... I actually had a pretty enjoyable day. Yeah, and for 15 bucks, it was definitely worth it. We were here yeah. for probably like three hours. The or sculpture more. thing is free too. So if you just yeah. want to come and do the sculptures, that's free. And it looks like they're expanding. They're making progress over there yeah. and expanding it around the lake that's right over here. So maybe by the time you guys come, if you get to come here, it'll be expanded and you get to see more. And maybe you could share that with us. So, yeah. You know, hit us up on the Twitter and the Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah. And uh, we're going to sign out from here, guys, because we got to go to reception dinner. We got to get back on that trolley, get back over to French Quarter, go to reception dinner, Rehearsal. hang out with the family. Oh. Rehearsal dinner. All right. So I, we didn't have any of this stuff. We just had a wedding. It was flat out, straight up. So yeah. I don't know about all this stuff, but we got to get to the French Quarter right now. So we are going to say peace right here. Peace.